Well, today's the day that it finally happened. I broke the phone that I've been using to tape everything in the garage. That may not sound like a big deal unless you've already taped the majority of what you're doing today and then broke it and now can't get it off. That's the problem. And I can't get what I've already done off there. So, I'm going to kind of recap. We're going to use our imagination and pretend like you saw me do all this to get us up to where we're at now. Here's the car frame. I took a good look at this to come to realize that this bracket right here lines up pretty good with this existing spot right here that had this frame going. So being that was already a mounting point at once, we're going to make it a mounting point again. I cut the nut off the back side of that and then it fits in there like so. With that being said, that does lift the seat pan up about a half inch off of the Grand Marquis frame. Which will be good because at some point we're going to have to cover this hideous hardware underneath the seat because we don't want to see all that mechanism. So that sitting up there, that'll leave a little bit of room for the carpet that wraps around the bottom of the seat and gives us a little bit of playroom for whatever we decide we need to do to cover this monstrosity. So I went and propped this up on the other side to match. And now we are a half inch off of that pan all the way around. Now we've got to make three different mounting brackets, which I've already done one of them here, where I took a piece of two inch angle iron, cut it down, made a nice little bracket. So, that's pretty much where I'm at to this point. Got one bracket here using this existing bracket, so we've pretty much got everything done on this one side. Just have to repeat the same process as what I did for this on the other side. Make two little L-shaped legs so that that can be bolted on. And then we've pretty much got this seat frame to the tracks. Well, that turned out pretty good. Um, you know, all it was was some simple angle iron brackets. Just like that. You know, we did three of those. Back there, over there. And then we had uh, the one bolt that we just used through the existing framework. Simple. Four little brackets. That's all we're doing today. Four brackets hold the frame to the thing. Break the phone. Broke a drill bit. Didn't think about, hey, how you gonna get the cover on, idiot? That cover barely covers this. Put that down. Look how far that sits away. There ain't no way you go wrap it over that. Good thing we welded it all in place, so. Alright, I gotta think about this for a minute. 
All right, we're taking a look at this a little further. I see how I got off track. I had this all figured out in my head, and in my head, we didn't use that existing bracket. We mounted this flush to that seat pan, so therefore all these brackets were flush with the bottom of the pan, and then we were just gonna drill holes where the bolts lined up through the carpet, and then that, we were gonna weld nuts on the top, and that's how that attached. Since we used that bracket, that raised these a half inch, making them all stick out too far. Um, so the way that I'm gonna correct this is, this back one is actually okay because it's beyond the seat and it splits there to get around everything. So that one's not a big deal. It's just these front two. What I'm going to do is cut these off and then sandwich two pieces of steel together, weld one to the bracket, weld one to the seat, and it is sandwiched with a bolt. And then we'll kind of figure out what kind of support that we need in there, if any, to help shore that up. But then these brackets will unbolt from here and bolt right back up there. We'll weld the nut on the bottom side, bolt it from the bottom up into there. Once the seat cover is on, that'll attach the bracket. Then the bracket attaches to the frame. Like I said, I had that all thought out in my head, but got off track. But we're back on track now. So let's cut those and weld it. Here it is, my amazing bracket we made there a little bit ago. Cut in half off of that. Got two pieces of plate with a bolt in there and a piece of steel in my finger. But what's happening? One of these will get welded to that, the other one will get welded to the frame. Once that's welded on there, we'll put another little box support in there to get some strength in that. This will be sitting on the tube, so this will have strength because it'll be welded all but out to there. Once we have both of those welded in place, I can secure the nut by welding it to the top. Then whenever it's apart, that nut will be fixed to the seat frame. So this bracket comes off, bolt goes through after the seat cover's on, where we just cut a small hole in the carpet. All right, this should work. That unbolts there, this bracket comes down. Everything will be flush with the bottom of the seat here. So that'll work. All right, we're gonna do the same thing here on this side. Got that cut down, except, no, it's, it's exactly the same. So, let me do that real quick. I think this is going to work got those back on there since we just got done welding it that's boiling hot my forearm just told me how hot it was so I'm gonna let that sit for a little while and then we're going to throw the foam on slide the cover on make sure it all fits no reason why it shouldn't now and then I think we can finally complete this easy little four bracket task all right moment of truth time did my engineering skills pay off or not? Well, that fits. That works. Covers kind of on it. I'm not going to fight this in perfectly because we're just going to take it right back off and I don't want to work this more than I have to because every time we yank it on and off of there is one less time that we have before something tears. So it's on there. Let me give you a closer look here. And right there, there'll be a bolt that goes right through that. Up into the bracket on the other side to the nut. 
Well, that finally tackles the mounting of this side of the seat to the frames. Driver's side will be the exact same way there for it. Next week, I think I want to go ahead and get started on the lumbar because that's the last bit of welding in the actual seat frame itself. Still got to attach the frames to the truck, but that's another task altogether. I want to try and get everything buttoned up with the seat and then we'll figure out how to get them in there. So that's where we're heading next week. Like always, thanks for watching the video. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think of today's video. We'll see you next time.